today is the day that we get our very first cows. We're super excited. Ryan has been wanting cows for the past four years. That's all he's been talking about. So this is the year we finally um, <laughs> decided to invest. We are going to put them down here in a retired goat pen, so I'll talk about that and we'll look around uh, once they get here, but right now we're just prepping and very excited to welcome them on. Anyone that's been following our farm knows we love education. That's one of our main inspirations, education around agriculture. So the cows will be the kickoff to our 4-H program. We already have two wonderful boys that are signed up and ready to tackle this program. So you'll hear from them shortly on what they're excited to learn about in this new year. Okay, so meet Cookie and Cooper. They are from a farm in Highland, Michigan. Uh, a wonderful woman, Katie, owns the farm, and she has uh, a variety of different animals. She's got Highland cows and a few other different blends. These particular have some Highland. Cookie also has um, Belted Galloway in her. That's what her mother was. And Cooper has Low Line Angus. Cooper is the steer that we will use for the 4-H program. So uh, very, very exciting. This is how they arrive to the farm. They've got their um, harnesses on that you can see. Uh, I'm blessed that she did this because as new farm, um, a new farm starting with cattle, this is a new thing for us. So we have dairy goats, we have had them for years, but um, being able to halter a cow is going to be something that we learn with practice. So this is nice. She said that we could leave these on so that we can catch them, right? So the expectation is that they're timid until they get to know us and then they're going to open up once they feel comfortable with us and their new surroundings. So uh, we unloaded them from the trailer and got them into the pen area. Okay, so here we see our retired goat pen. This is where we uh, welcomed them into. We have our hay feeder here. My husband built this. It's, it's wonderful, it's nice and sturdy, but it allows them still to be able to access the hay and pull out what they need while having that nice catch tray on the bottom. Uh, I've been told that cows don't waste as much as goats, so we'll put that to the test. My goats love to waste hay. They pull it out, they lay on it, they do all sorts of things, so it'll be fun to see the difference between the cows and the goats and if that's in fact true. <laughs> Um, we also have a water setup uh, that's just very flexible right now. We are using this cooler because it helps the water prevent from freezing. We do have a heater that we can put in it. Um, it's not plugged in right now. You might see the little gray cord sticking out, but uh, right now this is what we're setting up because the hope is that we'll be able to move them uh, in this whole pasture area, which is almost four acres uh, big. But right now we've got them in this area so that they can just get to know their surroundings in a smaller pen before we expand it into the larger acreage around them. Okay, Billy, what are you most excited to learn this year? Uh, how to win a prize with the steer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think you're the most scared of this year? Cooper charging. Okay. Um, what do you think right now, looking at Cooper, is the most shocking about him? His nose is wet. His nose is wet. Uh, so right now he's around 200, 300 pounds. What do you think about the fact that he's going to get up towards 750 pounds before fair? 
He's eating too, way too much. <laughs> Uh, so he's going to be probably double the size. Mm, okay. What were you excited to learn about? Uh, how to make friends with, with the cows. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Well, we are super happy to have you in part of the program. And I know Cooper's blessed to have you too. And Billy, uh, can you tell me your name and how old you are? Uh, William Bateson and 10 years old. Okay. It's okay. And where, what town do you live in? Uh, Saginaw Okay, so nap time is over, so Benny and I are here together to wrap this up. Uh, we had a wonderful first few days getting to know Cookie and Cooper, and you can see there at the end, Cooper was already letting Billy approach him by himself, and they were kind of learning how to navigate each other. So very, very special. Uh, the excitement continues, but we'll, we'll finish by just giving you a look into <laughs> Benny and I on the side-by-side -side this morning. We truly are excited to be able to be a site that offers other kids in the community the same ag experiences that Benny has had growing up so far because we've seen what a difference it makes. It you know, impacts their confidence and just their general knowledge base on where things are grown and how animals are tended to and taken care of and their role in the world of agriculture. So. We are very excited to be able to help other families have some of these same experiences. And you know, this is a free program for the community. So what an awesome way to give back and help impact kids over, over the years. So more to come and we will see where this year takes us. Wave goodbye, Benny. Bye. <laughs> Bye you guys. <laughs>